Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, got up real early for some reason. I think it was like 5.35 a.m. and is now 7.38 a.m. So my brain's kind of kicking right now, and I do apologize if I misconstrued some of my words. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> been watching E3 coverage of the new games and everything. You know, it's the gamer life, I guess. And then uh, watched some of the Sony... Uh, E3 coverage and it got me really excited when I heard about this game it's not supposed to come out until December 2017 and that's Shinmu 3 Shinmu 3 was originally on the Dreamcast and then Shinmu 2 moved on to the Xbox and this was the original one and it was a great game Shinmu makes you think and a lot of people when I'm going on the forums and everything and looking at it um, said oh it was complicated and it was hard and this and that that's like what made the game so interesting you know I remember you know you had to work at the shipyard or whatever and then you drove a forklift moving boxes <laughs> and you would do that for hours on end so you can get paid and then their big goal I would hope that they would do um, at 2.50 million uh, they'll have cinema shorts of one and two and then from there it does like oh we'll do these subtitles these subtitles and then the next one would be 3.20 million it would be a uh, report system and then a skill tree system and then they'll have a banish or Baisha Village Expanded Mini Games Times 5. So I think this is really awesome. Someone actually paid, a th it's a lot of money. Um, let me go up here. I don't know if it says who contributed, but someone, uh, well, three people paid $10,000 for this game. So, I should say four people. It looks like one had ten thousand, and then the other one you would have a you would go to Japan, and um, for six for what se uh, Japan September two thousand sixteen to see like the game and the scripts and all that stuff. So I might contribute to this. It has from uh, five bucks. All the way up to, like I said, 10,000, but those are already taken. So the next available uh, highest end is $500 on the uh, Shinmu. Sorry, guys. I'm still waking up. Do apologize. Also, um, freaking really awesome stuff. If I could find it, that would be great. Well, can't find it. Um, if you guys have a copy of Dirt 3, the uh, PC version via disc, I went on the Steam and redeemed it, and good to go. However, I would really like to redeem um, Ghost Recon, but I'm not sure if I have the manual anymore that has a CD key, so I'm probably going to throw this away. And then uh, Crisis Warhead would be nice to redeem. This came out in 2008. And then, uh, of course, uh, Mercenaries 2 doesn't work on their on the EA's website, so I, or Steam. Be nice if I could redeem this. Also, we have Batman: Arkham City. I lost the manual because of the move. Because of the, uh, I think I lost it because of the move that I did when I was moving out of my ex-wife's parents' house. And then. I would really like to redeem the uh, Batman Arkham Asylum right here. I would really like to redeem it, but you can't. It'd be nice if somehow you would be able to contact the publishers or Steam would allow you to do it. I know Good Old Games had it where you can uh, do the Stalker series um, game redemption, so I did all of that. I did all three games. So I was kind of happy that I was able to do the Dirt 3 uh, redemption and it I guess it one upped it if that makes sense because now this is the uh, 
Dirt 3 Complete Edition versus just Dirt 3. So I don't know what, you know, what the heck that meant or anything like that means, but it's a complete edition. I guess there's more content in the game, which was kind of nice. Um, so yeah. But, um, Steam sales going on. I got Doom, and then I got Counter Strike uh, Go. So I got that, so I've been playing that and upgrades and stuff um, if I can get money scrounged up I would like to get some Titan X's that's what I would like to have is um, two Titan X's to replace the ones that got stolen from me um, back along back in last year I had two of those stolen from me so that kinda sucks but the uh, insurance would help cover the uh, two titans that I would buy which would be pretty nice um, and for some reason my camera is going ballistic so yeah I also appreciate everybody who stayed subscribed to my channel right now I might be doing a giveaway and stuff soon I'm not sure like a game giveaway but I'm sure when I do the game giveaway I'm gonna get a lot of subscribers and as soon as the uh, game giveaway is over they're just gonna unsubscribe it's pretty much how it happens but it's whatever uh, because I noticed I was up to like uh, 1000 something 80 subscribers and now it has dropped um, down to uh, 79 subscribers so 1779 subscribers it's no biggie it just shows that you know um, they're not interested in my channel and that's fine and a lot of people think just because they're on YouTube you're making tons of money for some reason which I'm not the, uh, like all these computer parts I built you know I bought I got it all on my dime and it's kinda hard if you don't have a really 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 good paying job to keep up with the time so you gotta get people interested still in your channel by buying all this new stuff like I got the K95 keyboard which I might do a review on and everything like that I put on the MX uh, keyboard um, key replacement on it so I did pretty much all of it except for the lettering um, gives a little different look I might do all of them I'm not sure I still have them right here so I might change them eventually I might do this after the video but, um, yeah, I'm still selling my keyboard, the K65 keyboard, for like 100 bucks shipped. It's probably going to cost me probably $20 to ship it. And then also my Kingpin Edition cards that I'm selling, no one's wanting to buy them. $400 shipped is pretty uh, a pretty good deal from me talking to other people on computer forms and everything like that. So no bite on the computer forms, and more than likely I'm going to yank the sale down and I'll probably keep them. And uh, if I decide to build another rig or something, I might uh, put those in the test bench or something like that. And then uh, do a little comparison between, you know, 780 Ti Kingpins and then have Titan X's to do comparison to. I would like to get the X99 SoC Champion Board. It's only 200 something dollars very cheap it's a benching board be good for 24 7 overclocks as well they also have water blocks available for that motherboard too which is nice um because i'm huge into that so if i would get the soc champion i would put a water block on it and just overclock the crap out of it i would also probably get the 5960x if i can get the money that's an eight core processor that would be the first x processor i've ever owned in my life and for RAM, I don't know if I would want to spend the $1,000 on um, the Dominator RAM that they have specifically for that motherboard. I've been debating on contacting companies for um, sponsorships and what it takes for sponsorships. Because I get a lot of people saying you should be sponsored on your computer build. So I might you know, start doing that and seeing what it takes for being and getting 
a sponsorship from companies and everything, which I think would be really cool. You know, I'll do it as a ho you know, I'll do this as a hobby, and I really enjoy teaching people about computers. I think this video has gone long enough. Thank you guys for watching, and I do appreciate you guys who have stayed through the long haul, through my, you know, trials and tribulations that I've been going through uh, life and everything like that. So, as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. Share this video if you found it interesting, and you guys always have a great day now.